Hello, good morning. I'm just catching your radio. Oh, there is something for us to learn today. Of course, that's why I'm here. Let me quickly tell you about the private part of a woman and all you need to know. That part of a woman is not a dry place. and uh, It's not a flooded place either. It's just moist, okay? Uh, the pH of that environment is between 3.8 to 5.0. It's moderately acidic. That environment was kept there by God to prevent bacterial growth and bacterial transition to the upper part of the female reproductive tract. So that acidic medium, that pH that is created there is protective for every woman. But there's something you, you need to know about that pH because when you lose it, you'll be at risk of infection. Lower or upper bed canal infection will be there. So what are the things that can interfere with that protective pH that has been dropped there? One, there are people that are used to washing when buffy and they put their hand deep in there to begin to wash it, believing that that's how to be clean. No, it's a bad practice when you don't. When you put your hand in there and begin to wash in there, it's bad practice. Just wash the outer part, okay, the vulva, and forget about the inside, all right? Two, another thing that can interfere with that acidic medium is intercourse, okay? S intercourse. It's another thing that can interfere with the pH there. So the more you do it, the more probability that the pH is interfered with for several reasons. One, the pH of the spermatozoa, it's uh, about 7.2 to 7.4. It's neutral. It's an alkaline. It can actually neutralize that environment. And the presence of the penetration itself can neutralize that environment. So, and when this is frequent, it will now put the woman at risk of uh, infection, both ascending and local infection. But that is not to say that married people should deny each other of such advantage. But what do you have to do? What you have to do is to ensure that you are clean so that bacteria will not be close to that area at all. And it will not grow there. How will you be clean? You don't wear sick parts. Wear cutty parts. And don't repeat parts. Don't wear parts for too long. If you wear parts, you are going out. Once you come back, you pull off the parts. And allow fre fresh air or free air to that environment. Because the parts in itself can encourage bacterial growth. And when you don't have it a whole day and the bacteria is there. So you don't encourage the bacteria to that ascend through a passage without acid. So it would not be easy for the infection to grow. So what it means is that for people who are sexually active, people who are married, you cannot deny your husband in order to prevent uh, neutralizing the acid in that part. What you have to do is to ensure that you keep anything around that area clean so that you can't have any bacteria around there that will not grow. Another thing that can interfere with the acidic medium is the use of lubricant you know especially in elderly people because when you are growing older as a woman uh, the natural lubricant that is made for that v it's it's reduced it takes a lot of effort you know in terms of uh, relationship and foreplay for elderly people to be able to have that place made moist and well lubricated so they can desire to use lubricant or we don't want to use lubricant to help to lubricate the place so such lubricant can interfere with the ph of that environment and another thing that can interfere with that environment is practices uh there are some people who use uh tapos the kind of when they are in their period they use something that they insert instead of something that you put under all right so anything anytime you tend to insert things there you interfere with the normal acidic medium that the lord has uh, the lord has given so take precautionary measures keep the acidic medium in place and live healthy prevent infection in the female birth canal whether local infection or acid infection hope you've learned something bye